Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris here with Fandroid. Now, I just woke up this morning to um, the news that the world famous or iOS, iOS smash hit Instagram has just been made available for Android. Um, searching in the Google Play Store, you're not exactly going to be able to find it. It's kind of weird how it's just not really popping up in there. But you can um, just jump on the site to fandroid.com and there will be a handy link um, to the app in the market and then you can install from there. It's kind of weird. I'm sure it'll show up later. But um, a lot of people just talking a lot of crap about the app. So I wanted to... I've actually got it all set up and I wanted to see or show you guys what all the hype is about because people are just like... Oh, it's another social site slash um, photo camera app, and it's just like, what? what's it about? I'm not even going to install it because Apple fanboys love it so much, and I don't know. I think that's kind of a silly reason to not try an app out, but here you go. I'll make a quick little video so you guys can see exactly what's up. Um, you'll notice that it does have kind of, I guess, like iOS-ish type buttons along the button, along the bottom. Um, can't really say for certain because I haven't played with the iOS version, but um, I mean, I think they might look a little bit different than the iOS version, but if not, not really too big a deal. They accomplish what they need to do, so I don't I don't see what everyone's getting so been out of shape about, I guess. But um, um, this is your home screen here or your feed. It's kind of just like Facebook, and you'll just have a bunch of pictures that people have posted um, that you're following, just like you follow people on Twitter. There's Joshua Topolsky. And you can link it up to your Facebook or Twitter so that you can just automatically follow or selectively follow just a few um, users from your Twitter or Facebook and stuff. Hey, what up, girl? And yeah, so let's just take a look at the bottom button. This is your home screen stuff. Down here will be your favorites, I believe. Oh, no, these are your popular, I, I, I think. Why would I? Yeah, anyways. Oh yeah, these are all the popular ones. I'm sorry. And then I clicked on somebody's because I thought it was a hot chick and then it took me to her picture. But yeah, so these are just all the popular photos, what everyone's checking out and saying. You'll get a lot of these types of pics because girls be crazy. Um, and then jumping over here, you can see who um, left you a comment. And this is just your, like I guess, the activities, um, notifications and stuff. Following, you can see who you're following and what they're doing. I'm going to start following Gothroid so I can see like who's befriending who and stuff. So it kind of is. I thought it was more just a filters type deal, but it kind of seems like it really is just a whole other social social site. Um, and these are just some of your settings here. Let's go back. This is my profile. Um, I don't really have too many followers and no one really likes me. Surprise. And these are my lists. I guess the pictures that I took. And jumping over to grid, these are just all my photos there in the grid view. Um, settings, you can find friends via the social sites like I told you about. Photos you've liked, these are the photos that I've um, been checking out and liking. Like this sexy man. And edit profile, typical camera stuff. Camera settings, there's really not much, it just allows you to use Instagram's advanced camera features, which I'm not really sure those or it kind of seems like it might have just been HDR, but I don't know. And then the bread and butter, you click the big button down at the bottom and you can take a picture of whatever you like. <clears throat> and then I'll show you some of the... Let's just go with... I'll take a picture of my Nexus, whatever. Just got my Nexus about five seconds ago, yeah! Snap a pic. And then here are all the hipster filters, as uh, we like to call them. Um, you have Amaro, Rise, just all these different filters to kind of give it a more hipster look and feel. They have a couple of them with borders. Um, one down here at the bottom or back that looks like it's um, like a film type deal. Which, I mean, it's cool. It's not like the most important thing to have or like the, I don't know. Some people are like, why do I need this app? Well, I mean, I guess you don't really need any app, and if you just want stuff to look kind of cool and you feel like you want to be a little hipster, then um, Instagram might be the app for you. Up here, there's kind of like an HDR effect, which kind of messes up everything. I'm sure that would look better outdoors, an outdoors pic. 
and then here's some more border stuff as well and um, this will flip it let's check it out yeah. oh. 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 and then once you're done you click here it'll process the photo <clears throat> You can type in your caption, so you'll be able to type whatever you want, like, hey, look, I just got a Galaxy Nexus, ah, enable geotag if you want, and then you can post directly to Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare, or Tumblr. So, pretty cool, it's really easy, just click upload from there, and it just uploads it to your social sites. So if you're big on Twitter or Facebook, and you want some cool hipster photos, I don't know, I don't really see what the um, problem is, I mean, I, I guess I don't really see what the big deal is with this app, it's just kind of cool, and everything kind of works, and it's really fun and easy to use, but, um, for all the haters out there, um, I don't, I don't know, there's, there's plenty of other apps in the market that you can hate on, or just focus on the iPhone, I guess, but, yep, so that's Chris with Fandroid, thank you guys for watching, my quick little video on Instagram for Android, and I'll see you guys later, bye.